Well, hello everyone and welcome to another one of Glamour Couture's TV's tutorials. Today I wanted to come on and share with you two DIY um, conditioners. Well, one is a conditioner and one is a spritzer. Um, as you see my hair is braided. No, I did not do this. I went to a African shop near my home and got my hair braided because my husband and I, uh, he took me to Daytona Beach, Florida for our anniversary and for my birthday. And while I have these braids in, I want to be able to keep my hair well moisturized uh, for the next two months. So I wanted to come on and share with you these two DIY tips. So if you want to see how I do this, stay with me. I'll be right back. Okay, there was one other thing I wanted to share with everyone. Um, these are pH um, strips that I ordered also off of Amazon. And, you know, with our hair, um, our hair is acidic so, um, and it's good to use um, things that um, will keep our scalp from having bacteria on it and we fall our scalp falls between four and five so between this orange and this yellow is a good range for your products to be um, in to keep your hair uh, at the pH level that it needs to be um, and I wanted to show you my spritz spray and the pH level of it. So I take a strip and uh, spray it <laughs> and uh, then I hold it up to the color coordinates on the pH strip level. The highest is 14 which is alkaline which is very bad for your hair. Acidity is the lowest part of the pH strip and we fall in between right here with our hair between 4 and I would say no more than 7 but I like to keep mine between 4 and 5 no more than six and as you see I'm holding the strip next to the pH indicator um, log here and it shows that it's right in the range where it's supposed to be so um, that is another good thing uh, with this Ayurvedic um, cleansing spritz is that Ayurvedic powders are natural um, and they're very good for your hair and I wanted to just show you that the pH level of this is right on point so thanks again okay so we're on to conditioner spritzer huh, number two okay and so with this what I'll be doing my ingredients um, Cantu leave-in conditioner, aloe vera, vinegar, um, tea tree for preserving, my raspberry seed oil. And raspberry seed oil is a natural um, sunscreen, UV protectant for your hair. You can use it on your hair, uh, and it's a heat protectant. And glycerin just to keep things moisturized um, and that's very important when you have braids is not to let your hair dry out and we also have distilled water and I will be testing with the test strips once again and so this is my container and um, we're going to be taking two tablespoons of the conditioner
we're going to be taking two tables two tablespoons of aloe vera juice one tablespoon of vinegar and what we want to do now just basically kind of stir it up I'll get a spoon here and stir it Trying to get all the conditioner out. I'll just use my hand. It's a lot easier. Okay. Get it down and in there. Get all the bed off the spoon. Okay. And um, we just kind of stir it. Let's get a little mixture going here. And um, you can see it's looking very creamy. Okay. And I also I also use Kimmy Tubes uh, moisturizer, and thanks to her, um, she has taught me a lot. So. Uh, I love her her um, moisturizing conditioner as well. But I wanted to try this because it has a... I'm going to be using a red raspberry um, seed oil that because it's August, it's very hot. Um, my hair will be well protected and it will be protected from the heat when I have it on. So it's a good thing. Okay, so I've kind of mixed it. The other thing I want to do, once it's well mixed, is I want to take a teaspoon. And so here is my test strip, and I have already tested the moisturizer. And as you see, it's right <laughs> at 5 on the pH. Um, see, this is the pH strips that I have, and it's right at five, right at a good level for your hair.